I finally beat the bastard at something. Be respectful, my friend, so he may live to enjoy it. Well, monsieur? Pay him. Merci. <laughs> C'est amusant, mon ami. These days, one never sees such scandalized young men. Oh, uh, bien, ma, so you, you wish to buy my prize stud? No, 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 you misunderstand me, mon ami. Your money bores me. Uh, we Creoles uh, have a fondness for the cards. Perhaps uh, you would consider betting your money against my pauvre animal? What do we do? Oh, well, it, uh, it is extremely fair. Even your Yankee god would approve. Bien, we simply draw cards. High card, the winner. Well? All right. Where? Café Jules. Monsieur. Café, s'il vous plaît. Monsieur. C'est la vie, monsieur. Monsieur, the black animal? Oui, monsieur. Now it's my turn with the nigger, no? No. No. Ça va. Who is it? It's your damn Yankee cousin. Hey, love. Mother Antoine, he's here. Let me look at you. Hey, love. Come in, come in. And I lost every penny. My decision to visit New Orleans is proving to be an expensive one. But Cesar Dupree, you were fortunate to lose only your money. What? My fiance, she is right, my friend. Had you won, well, uh, many men have uh, died for much less. Who is this man? <laughs> Bien, my friend. Uh, some say the devil himself feels depressed death. I suppose there's not enough room in hell for both of them, n'est-ce pas? Naturally, there are rumors surrounding all men of wealth. But uh, one wonders about uh, Monsieur Dupre's uh, excesses. To be sure, he has been challenged openly, but uh, such scandalous stories always 
result uh, in someone's death. LFM, the women. Creole mothers wisely forbid their daughters to see him. As for his women slaves, there is libelous talk of murder. Only ugly rumors, of course. But be wise, my friend. Have nothing more to do with him. He's right, Caleb. But our main problem now is money. I, I would lend it to oh, him. Oh, no, but no. Since your uncle died, I have nothing but the hat shop. Well, I could teach. After all, I taught school in Boston for nearly a year. Well, uh, there are some women. It's a fine idea. Uh, you gentlemen discuss it. Susan and I have things to do. Uh, no, 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 no. We'll talk about it later. Antoine, what? Sit down, sit down, my friend. It was my fault. Uh, they were right to leave. But what upset them? Be patient, my friend. First, you will have to understand that uh, sometimes we Creoles are often uh, admired for our indiscretions and not our virtues. I... Uh, I will explain. Now, take the Creole woman. Now, she is indeed a treasure. She is schooled in all the finer things of life as a child. When she reaches womanhood, she is genteel, she is refined, she is polished, and she is frequently as boring as hell. Uh, but don't misunderstand me. We honor them. And we regard them as uh, pillars of strength. But like pillars, they are often very cold. Especially at night. Compound. No. No. I was afraid of it. Eh bien. I take it you have never heard of our femme de couleur. Our free women of color. Negroes? Uh, partially, yes, but uh, much more like a... Uh, a sweet drop of cream. But where... As I was saying, these quadroons, as we call them, they are products of the Creole man and his darker woman. Oh, I thought such marriages were against the law. Oh, you, you are correct. But let me be blunt with you. A quadroon woman, she has but one goal in life, and that is to be the mistress of a Creole. The quadroon woman, she is schooled in seduction from infancy. When she reaches womanhood, she, her voice, it is genteel. Her uh, dress, it is de delightful. Her figure, her movements, they are poetry. And her virtue, my friend, before her presentation, her virtue, in comparison, the, the, the virgin herself is promiscuous. What presentation? Oh, that is a great ball where all the quadroons are presented to the Creole gentleman. Uh, but that is another story. It grows late. We have to discuss your teaching. Wait. What happens to these women when their lovers marry white women? But, my friend, most of them are already married. Uh, they simply uh, support two families. So a man keeps his wife to honor and his quadroon mistress to bed. Ah, uh, now you're beginning to understand this. No. I don't. It's disgraceful. In New England, we... You are not in your New England, my friend. You are here, in a new world. A world that is guarded by the past. Perhaps. But what does all this have to do with my teaching? Oh, yes. Yes. Well, here, all of the white women, they are educated in the convents. Uh, but uh, the quadroon beauties, for obvious reasons, cannot be. So... A friend of mine tells me that uh, a certain quadroon, Madame Celeste, well, she wishes her daughter to, uh, to learn uh, English. Well, perhaps Celeste knows other girls who, who need such an education. Through my friend, you could uh, arrange, so to speak, uh, a small class in her petit maison on uh, Esplanade Street, no? Karel, and Marie, and my daughter, Carl. Monsieur. 
Monsieur does have a name. Uh, okay, Caleb. Caleb Wycliffe. I didn't uh, realize you people could speak English. We people speak several languages. However, in our situation, reading and writing is often a luxury. Please, won't you sit down? Carl. Tell me, monsieur, do you think I could learn to read and write in four weeks? A little. <laughs> Splendid. That should up my price considerably. I'm, I'm afraid I don't... Uh... My daughter jokes. You see, in a month, I shall present her to society. To the Creoles? We. Oui. But also many Americans nowadays. Do you enjoy beef? Yes. Do you think that you would enjoy that slab of meat a little more if it could read and write? That's enough. Please, monsieur, begin. Uh, <clears throat> these are what we call vowels. A, E, I, Oh, she's so beautiful and such intelligence. Sure, she... I have heard the rumors say this, uh, Coral. She will be highly prized. Prized? Oh, yes. When she is presented, many Creoles will bid for her. Like slaves. Oh, no, no. It's It is held uh, much more delicately than that. If a Creole desires a girl, he merely uh, strikes a bargain with the mother. Uh, the most desirable becomes the girl's lover. And how does one measure desirability nowadays? As always, my friend. In cash? Oh, true, it is unfortunate. Many sweet young virgins are coupled with some uh, very old and ugly toads. But uh, in your case, now, Cora, she will be very happy as long as there is enough money. No, you're wrong. Oh, we? Really? Not Cora. She's different. <laughs> she thinks for herself. It is part of her act. An act? My friend, you must admit, it is much more exciting to ride a uh, wild mare than uh, a tamed filly. We are talking about a beautiful young girl, not... I know, my friend, please. Let us not argue. Today, I am going to show you my city, the good and the bad. The Creole admits there's something bad in New Orleans. We, eh? oui. like those unfortunates who will be auctioned off tomorrow. Auction? What auction? It is the, uh, the old slaves and the sick ones, and those who have been disobedient. If I'm not mistaken, that friend of yours, uh, Jacques, he is among those to be auctioned tomorrow. Perhaps Aunt Nancy would buy him. <laughs> My friend, never. Never. Please, Aunt Nancy, just take a look at him. That's all I ask. He's different. Oh, Caleb. Well, after all, you are going to need help in the shop when Susan gets married. Antoine. He's right. Antoine. my friend. What a special group we have for you today. Oh, a few a little worse for the wear, but still good workers. Take this buck, for instance. Oh, a few scars, but strong as an ox. Now, what do I bid for him? I bid $50. $50. $50, what do you say? $100. $100. $100. One hundred dollars. One hundred fifty dollars. One
Monsieur Miro. Uh, my good friend, Monsieur Caleb Wakely. Monsieur Miro. Oh, excuse-moi. Monsieur Felix Ledoux. Are you familiar with dueling? I'm afraid not. Ah, well then, you are lucky to be in such distinguished company. These rascals, my best students. Perhaps Monsieur would care to see an exhibition. Why not? You look. Good pleasure. I will meet up. Uh, you have a new mistress, monsieur. Many ah. people are talking. Jealously, no doubt. Oh, no, 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 They, oh, oh, they, they, they say, monsieur, that she is, uh, magnificent. It's true. Well, that is true. What is she doing with a rod like you? Gentlemen. Another time, perhaps. Oh, any time, monsieur, any time. That's very good. You learn quickly. I wish your friends had been here. They went to a celebration. Would you like some wine? Yes, please. This party is one of the girls getting married or something? Let's just say she was arranged for at the ball last night. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm talking about. You blush so much. Don't you people make love in the North? Well, yes, but we're much more responsible about it than that. <laughs> Mama was right. It does work. <laughs> You shouldn't tease me like that. I'm only trying to help you. I'm sorry. But you're so serious. But this but it's important that you learn this. Poor man. You really believe that, don't you? Your mother. My mother. A lot of good her education did her. Fifteen years ago, my father left us, leaving some money and a farewell note. At least she could read the note. Believe me. Someday, your literacy is going to prove very valuable to you. You can't believe that a woman's worth outlives her beauty. Couldn't you go north? You could tutor in French. A teacher? A woman of color? Why not? You can't really believe that people would let me near their children if they knew my background. I wouldn't tell. I won't lie. I'm not ashamed of it. Of course. You're right. But it would be easier. There's no place easy for my kind. Here, both the whites and the Negroes call us mules. Neither race, n'est-ce pas? And the North, <laughs> you must admit, that Esplanade Street is a much finer address than a northern slum. But you mustn't worry about me. I'm sure that I will find a nice, fat, rich Creole to support me. And my children. And if you don't love him? Most quadroons learn to love their providers. Sometimes they even worship them. But I could never love anyone that owned me. Won't your provider have something to say about this? He'll never know. As long as I lick his hand and wag my tail every day for a few hours, he'll be quite satisfied. And? For price, 
I'll do anything. Why are you telling me this? Because I think you're falling in love with me. There's no hope, Caleb. Then you wouldn't leave with me? I'm too far in. Anyway, how do I know you wouldn't try to sell me as a runaway? Try to have chapter three by next time, all right? Wait. No, I don't have any more time. Antoine's taking me to uh, one of those presentations. Wonderful. Maybe you'll strike a real bargain. I'm too poor to bargain for much of anything. But if I did have money, I'd arrange for you. And then I'd set you free. I know what just happened. I was listening. I'm not surprised. Mother, don't worry. I really don't think he's going to try to seduce me in the parlor. I know how you feel. Do you? You feel cheated. And what of it? I'm as good as any of Of course you are. I've always taught you that. Sometimes I wish I had. You might be happier. Leave me alone. No matter how much you love him, do you think your skin would ever be white enough? That's what I said, didn't I? To him, yes. And yours was never white enough, was it? No. And I want to spare you that pain. When you have children of your own, you'll see things differently. And as I grow older, maybe their father will even visit occasionally. I'm sorry, Mother. I know. The only way, isn't it? Yes. And what if I never learned to love my provider? You will. You'll have to. Offense at the slightest thing. Why? One must need an excuse for dueling, no? So now they bargain. 
You sound so sad, my friend. This is the highest point in a quadroon's life. I suppose you're right. Caleb, it is your Yankee side coming out again. Come, drink. We'll have another cognac. What's the matter? Oh, you remember Felix Ledoux? The rumors about his mistress, they're true. She's exquisite. Such a pity, such a beautiful thoroughbred like her mated to. to such a jackass. Monsieur, you have made a serious mistake. We will meet in the courtyard. Monsieur Miro, you will oblige us, no? Oui. so amusing. Oh, not. 
Nothing. You can tell me. I won't be angry. Well, you remind me of a master I had once, a captain. He was always standing around like he had a poke up his... <laughs> or he claimed a straight back cured all of you ears. Poor fellow. What happened to him? Hung him. They hung him from an oak tree for stealing horses. <laughs> oh, I must say he hung straight and proper. Oh, I mean, he was turning all sorts of blue and shades and... <laughs> but he wasn't doing no dancing. Just standing there as stiff as a... Uh, that's very amusing, Jacques, but my cousin will be here shortly. I don't think she'd be interested in hearing about it. Of course. Be still. Oh, but Doctor, please... Keep quiet! I am the one who is dying, thank you. Monsieur, this is the third time this year I've been called for my dinner to bandage your wounds. Why don't you boys do a little civilized hour? Oh, doctor, please. I'll get killed. You think there is money in treating wounds? Mon Dieu, what a bore. If only I had a good autopsy. Oh, bien. Entrez, s'il vous plaît. Madame? Mademoiselle? I believe this is the third time we've met. How long will he be in bed? A few weeks, if I'm lucky. What do you mean, getting hurt like this? She needs a husband, not a sieve. Mother. I am dueling over those women. Uh, Madame, that was a question of honor. Honor? What is honor these days? Why, why, only last month a boy was killed for insulting the Mississippi River. Oh, my dear. Oh, Mother, can't you see he's in pain? Now, may we, I am in great pain. Good. And I hope you remember it this time. Susan, I am I'm getting dizzy. Uh, nonsense. Come, Susan. That's uh, right. go. So don't worry about me. That's right. Don't worry about him. Madame, I am dying. Get well. How is he? Doctor says he'll be in bed for weeks. He isn't going to like that. No. Idiot. Poor Camille. Who? Camille. Felix's mistress. I feel sorry for her. Don't waste your pity on a whore. But Antoine says they seldom take a lover after one is gone. She's too young to be so lonely. Listen to me. Quadroons are scum. They make a mockery of decent Christian marriages. And a good wife is supposed to just ignore it. Makes me sick. You just should have seen her. Very touching, I'm sure. Oh, Caleb, she's probably bedded down with another man by now. No. It's true. I know these people. You're wrong. Oh? Then let me tell you a little story that's typical. My friend Annette is a Creole wife. Her parents arranged the marriage. She had no choice. By the time she was 20, she had borne her husband two sons. And he repaid her devotion by taking a new quadroon mistress every year. What did she do? Do? The only genteel thing she could do. Creole wife has no alternative than to look the other way. Well, at least Annette spared that now. Why? Felix is dead. Felix? Yes. Pretty, isn't it? She's probably with his body in the church right now. Must give her great comfort to know that he died for his mistress.
I'm sorry. Coral has just left. Is something the matter? We... We have just learned that her friend Camille... Oh. Felix's death. How did you know? I was there. I wanted to stop it, but... There's nothing you could have done. Anyway, the girl loved him very much. Coral's going to stay with her until... Well... When does anyone stop grieving? Good day. Wait. I'm new here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What I'm trying to say is, do you think it would be all right if I went to them and asked if there was anything? I think they'd both appreciate it. St. Anne Street, number three. Monsieur? Cora Labus is here. Oui, monsieur. Is Mademoiselle Camille upstairs? Will I disturb them? No, monsieur. You won't disturb them. Now, there's no use arguing. It can't be done. I tried to explain. I'm sorry, but it's out of my hands. I didn't know. Neither did I. How did it happen? You know how dogs sometimes grieve themselves to death over their master's death? For that same loyal reason, quadroons often kill themselves. Interesting, no? Quarrel. Get out! Oh, and another very interesting thing. Creoles, even slavers and pimps are allowed a decent burial. Camille's only fault was that she fell in love. And now the church won't even bury her. And you respectable people call us immoral. I never said that. Enough. The men, the men consider us their property, and their wives hate us because we please their men. And the wives, if we pass them on the street and even raise an eye, they could have us whipped. There's no way out. You could leave with me today. Is that a proposal? Yes. And you can take it, and you can go to hell with it. I didn't kill your friend. You're a part of it, Caleb. How? I just... I... Get out! Will I see you again? No. The lessons are useless. And the presentation. You'll still go through with it. Of course. Even after all this? More so. And don't worry about me. Worry about the Creole who bargains for me. By the time I'm finished with him, he'll be too afraid of me and too exhausted for his wife. And if I pass her on the street, she's gonna look down, not me. Thank you. 
give your daughter to a man like that? Don't you know what they say about him? Of course. Everyone does. How can you? No other gentleman would have her. Monsieur Dupre would have killed them. Then why present her at all? You could always... I could do nothing when your only escape is the Creole's generosity. You learn to compromise. Good evening. There must be stone walls with more passion. After smoking, most gentlemen at least chew a clove. I am not a gentleman. So they say. <laughs> what else do they say? Oh, and that you're very fond of your boy slaves. Who said that? Who knows? One hears things. You black bitch. Would you like to give me up? No. I shall enjoy breaking you. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. Let her go. Caleb, leave. Leave now. Oh, moment, monsieur. I know you. Yes. The unlucky Yankee. That's right. Cesar, let's dance. Not so fast. You know this man? He was only teaching me English. Ah, yes. <laughs> he, he looks like a school teacher. But I'm sorry, monsieur. Your lessons were a waste. See, she will not need English with me. Most girls don't while flat on their backs. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, uh, I think he fancies you. He's poor. He means nothing to me. I think not. Perhaps monsieur would care to have a duel. All right. Oh, Cesar, he doesn't know a rapier from a pistol. Ah, uh, no? Oh, that is very interesting. In that case, I shall give monsieur an extra day to decide on the weapons. Bonsoir. That was an exceptionally clever gesture. Now what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, I do. Leave. Leave New Orleans tonight. No one will think the less of you for it. I can't do that. Why? For me? Yes. Oh, splendid. All I need is your blood on my hands to enhance my reputation. Well, say something. I love you. Nerd. So what am I going to do? I can't do. Well, there's uh, always one solution. What? You could always leave the city in the dark of night. No, I'm going through with it. Say, sir. My friend, please hand me the brandy. Should you be drinking this? No, you're right. I should not. Ah, now we can discuss your duel. Now, Dupre is very excellent with the rapier. And the epée and the saber. He is also an expert marksman. Are you sure you want to go through this? You want to stay? Yes. Hmm? Say, sir. And I must warn you, you must... You must select dueling pistols. At least with them, you will have a chance. How so? Well, they are very clumsy and difficult to aim. Uh, years from now, no doubt, people will romanticize about our duels, but... Uh, in truth... With our foggy dawns, one is lucky to see what he's aiming at. Perhaps you're right. Easy, my friend. Even you can pull a trigger. Some brandy, please. However, I... I must warn you, Caleb. What? Dupre. He has yet to miss. Bonne chance, mon ami.
Shift. Congratulations, monsieur. I see you did not run. Well, gentlemen, I assume you both know the regulations. Of course. No, not really. Well, then, I will count off five paces. Then you shoot. Bien. The duel is over when you both have fired. Supreme insult. You did not consider him worthy one pistol bullet. I just couldn't kill him. Please, my friend, keep that to yourself. Or he will be the laughing stock of all New Orleans for quite some time. But I don't see for play. Gentlemen, we are going to have a great celebration for my friend Caleb. for the day. I'm alive. Yes, sir. I won. I actually won. Me. I know. Well, come on. Let's have a drink. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, how do you know? A friend of yours told me. Upstairs. Up? Where? In your room, sir. Well, pour us all a drink, and we'll be right down. Why? Let's leave here. Let's leave tonight. Don't talk. 
By tomorrow we could be married. It could be miles from here. No. Why? It could be someplace where it's warm and quiet. And your daughters could have real husbands. What's the matter? Nothing. Tell me. I can't leave with you ever. I love you. But after today, we can't ever see each other again. You can't mean that. Don't you see? Cesar Dupree would have us followed anywhere we went and have you killed. But you despise him. We're well matched. I can live on hate for a long time. If you don't go with me, I'm going to stay. If you stay, Caleb, He'll have you murdered. You've got to leave as soon as possible. Not without you. Believe me, there's no escape. I won't give you up. Okay. Uh, what is it? It's just a chill. The room is cold. I'll get us some brandy. He won't be back. Dupree might have him killed. Just like he'll murder you. I saw everything. It's just begun. You must leave. All right. Good. Pack your things. I'm not going to argue with you, Caleb. Fine. Don't. I'm not leaving without you. He'll find us. No, he won't. Because I have a plan. My aunt won't like it, but she'll help us. I'll borrow a carriage, and we'll drive to the docks. By this time tomorrow, we'll be in Jamaica. Be ready at noon. Nothing can stop us now. Come on. Yes, ask him. It's all a grand joke. I'll get you for this. Pourquoi? For being a good citizen? What are you talking about? Well, you know, my friend, I have always found that uh, even the best of us sometimes have a few bones rattling around in the closet. As luck would have it, a friend of mine in the records office uh, did a little research on Madame Celeste. You ordered it. Ah, well, let us say that uh, I suggested it. Anyway, imagine our surprise when we found that uh, Madame Celeste was once a slave and never officially free. That's a lie! Ah, no. No, check it yourself. Before leaving, 
her master left her money, but uh, not a document of freedom. How unfortunate, no? But Coral is... Oh, the daughter is also a slave. Where are they taking them? <laughs> the calaboose to await the auction. What? They are uh, the property of the state now. They will be sold at uh, public auction. Yeah, extremely fair, no? I should have killed you when I had the chance. Ha! Such a violent young man. You should save your strength for raising money. I am looking forward to owning Coral. I'll get the money. Oh, but of course you will. You have a whole week to get it. <laughs> Do you think you and Coral... Coral? No, that's impossible. No one could outbid Dupre. But try to buy me. I think I know a way out. All right. Coral. Where are they? Patience, my friend. They will be here shortly. You shouldn't have come. Your wound is going to open. No, nonsense. Besides, I want to see where my $2,000 is going. Attention! May I have your attention, please? How fortunate you buyers are today. <laughs> Look for yourself. Among these bargains, I have cooks, washers, field hands, a number one blacksmith, and uh, <laughs> two frivolous items. But first, what am I bid for the seamstress? A fine disposition. Never seek a day. Yes. I have things to do. Auction's a girl now. Oh, but Mr. Dupree, will... Are you going to argue with me, Martin? No, 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 absolutely not. What am I bid for this girl? Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars once. Five thousand dollars twice. Sold to Mr. Dupre. No, don't, my friend. You will only make it worse for her. Will I do? Well, you are just a cut above the average neger. I don't suppose you would remove my chains. Later. I want you to think about being my property for a while. It will be good discipline.
can't let you go to him alone. It's too dangerous. Don't argue with me. You want to see Coral again? All right. Then do as I say. Now you know what to do. Yes. Jacques is meeting Coral and me at the River Point. You'll be at the levee in the morning. And Antoine's booked passage? Antoine's on the boat now. He doesn't like this any more than I do. Why are you being so secretive? Oh, trust me. In case you're caught, there are things you shouldn't know. Maybe we should wait. Until when? She'll soon be washed day and night. No, no. We must act now. While he's off guard. I don't know. I... Miss Celeste, my mother is waiting outside with a carriage for you. Thank you. I'll be there in a minute. Let me go with you. I could wait in the carriage. No, no, everything's been planned. No, don't you start. Believe me, this time tomorrow we'll all be free. Bonsoir, my chérie. I hope you like the gown. It was made for another quadroon. What happened to her? Unfortunately, she killed herself. That's one thing you'll never have to worry about with me. No, well, that is good to know. Now, Take it off. No. Now! <sighs> Stop oh. it! Oh, I'm sorry, monsieur, but really, you remind me of the stories I've been told, of the virgin creoles and their first mistresses. Do you know what I could have done to you? I can imagine. Why don't you just go ahead and take me? No. No, you will do as I say, willingly. Slaves have no pride. No? I didn't realize Monsieur was so helpless. I will show you how helpless I am. Jean! Henry! Thomas! Jean! Elle est très jolie, no? Well, answer me, you bastard! Oui, she is very beautiful, monsieur. You want her? I am not joking. Perhaps you can teach her a few lessons. She looks like a willing student, monsieur. I was not thinking of her brain. Lock her up in the spring house. Wait! I hope you will decide to act like a good neighbor by morning. I think you will. The spring house is cool and dark. A good place for you to develop humility.
do you want? Monsieur Dupre, I'm leaving for the north with Monsieur Wycliffe. He now knows he can't fight you. So? And I wish to say goodbye to my daughter. And have you slip her some voodoo poison? Or perhaps even a dagger? No, monsieur. You may search me. No, you are too clever for that. Uh, go away. Wait. Now, now leave us. One more thing. I know my daughter's moods. She's not what you expected, no? No, not yet. But she will be. No. In time, you can break her, but you'll ruin her. Even for you, $5,000 is a costly investment. But uh, what uh, can you do? Just let me see her one more time, and I'll make her listen to reason. Bien. Madame, if you try anything foolish, I will have you both killed. on. No. I know what you're trying to do. You told Cesar. Oh, hurry, Carl. There's no time. No. Listen to me. It's all arranged. Antoine told the authorities that I escaped to see you. They'll be here any minute. I don't believe you. It's true. They're outside the plantation now. Now hurry. But, Mother, what'll happen to you? Oh, don't worry. The police will be here moments after you leave. I'm recaptured. Return to Antoine. and meet you and Caleb tomorrow at Broussard Point. Caleb? The carriage will take you to him. Then early tomorrow we meet the Delta Star. Antoine knows the captain. Mother, are you sure? Shh. Now think about this. We can all be free. Or you could be mammy to his bastards. Huh? Or as a whim one day, you might sell your babies for extra pocket cash. I... I... Just go. Monsieur! Monsieur! Have you succeeded? Wait. Oui. Not so fast. Congratulate your master for me on his wise decision. And tell him not to try to interfere again. Oui. Give me a few minutes, then bring her up to me. She has escaped! Black man, have you?
Where did they go? Where did they go? The river, Roussard's point. Forget about him. Let him go. soon, because Antoine has to tell the captain. He's not with her? No, he's on the boat. Didn't she tell you? Oh, God. We've got to go back. What did she tell you? Never mind. Just take me back. But we can't. So. What's the matter? Why aren't you on the... It's been a delay. The boat you will not sail until tomorrow. I must make arrangements for you up on the river until I can find a new way for you no. to... No. I'm going back. I only hope my mother's... What's the matter? Carl, your mother, she... Tell me. Oh, I, uh, I'm sorry, mon petit. This morning I was making arrangements for you both, but to praise men, they brought in the body of a woman. They said she was trying to help a runaway slave, her own daughter. No! It's true, mon petit. No! We've got to go.
There now. You see? If you had spent the night between my nice linen sheets instead of on the ground, you would feel much better. Ah! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, you are angry about your mother. Oh, but do not worry. It did not take too long. Oh. Monsieur. A Creole? Helping slaves run away? Such a scandal this will make. Unfortunately, you will not be around to hear about it. Well, then I see the rumors of Monsieur are true. What? Oh, that in his old age, Monsieur Dupree must have his uh, henchmen do all the difficult work for him. It's been quite some time since anyone has seen Monsieur Dupree in a duel with an equal. Very well, Monsieur. If you win, you will all be free. When he drops his hand, you will fire. No. Do not worry, Monsieur. Her bastards will fetch a high price on the block. Not much time left to get ready for the ball tonight. Oh, uh, Monsieur, I hope you will tell your friends that Cesar Dupre is not so old after all. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oui, monsieur. I'm a stranger here. Can you tell me what this means? This is a, um, this is a presentation for the quadroons. Quadroons? Yes. You're not familiar with quadroons. They are the, they are the product of the Creole gentleman and his uh, darker women. Like a, uh, like a sweet drop of cream. The quadroon woman. She's indeed a sleek and exquisite creature. She is strained on all the social graces. Her voice becomes genteel. Her dress becomes delightful. And my friend, her figure and her movement, they are nothing but sheer poetry. You're new to the city. I will show you New Orleans. The New Orleans that is, oh, it's a new world, but it's guarded by the past. A world where 
where style is a way of life, where, where each day is, is a celebration to, to life itself. You come with me, and I will show you my New Orleans.